looking at a Shelby GT500. It's got upgraded Roush screw type blower, carbon fiber, cold air intake. It's got the big fuel rails, the Cobra Jet injectors, bigger injectors. Chrome spark plug covers. Got a brand new set of cooks, long tube headers. Got aftermarket reservoirs. This is Plains Whistle. Got an aftermarket heat exchanger. Okay. White and the blue stripes. Put nearly 800 horsepower to the ground. And because of that, this happened. Spun around backwards in their guardrail. The door gaps are perfect. The window roll down. The quarter's good. How clean the interior is. No bags deployed. No back seat damage. Door gaps are perfect. Back glass is broken. It's got the Steeda control arms. But I don't think it's the buff out. <laughs> It's a clear title. If you look here, see the wheel tub is all intact. All the speakers, trays, and stuff's good. But this floorboard is folded up in the spare tire area. This quarter here, it's got some pressure here. See the spots there? This door gap. It's perfect. Roof's perfect. No buckets. Got the VT500 two chains. Stored indoors. Water temp gauge there, boost gauge there. Looks like another water temp gauge there, maybe once for the uh, reservoir. The shaker 500. Ford Racing shifter. Push button start.
flags were deployed. It's driven home from an accident. Made 746 rear wheel horsepower before the long tube headers and through the cats. Eight seven oh six, so it's oh seven. Plains of whistle, make your brakes, give you your tires. Seven oh four, five oh seven, two four five three. Never, it's always been a clean title. And the uh, insurance company wouldn't total it because the Ford dealer, they, they couldn't get estimate high enough to total it with what the cars were. It's got a ton of bolt-on goodies, well over 700 horsepower to the ground. It was 740 before the, 746 before the long tube headers. And no, no converters. 704 507 2453. Clean title GT500.